need to move locations and at the next location I'm going to show you. I have absolutely zero space in my luggage now. It's becoming another problem. Ah, that's strong again. This is an elevator, but I've never seen one like this. I made it. The lady didn't speak very good English, but it was it was cute. I'm like, she's like, da da da. da. I'm like, oh, da, da, da. I said it in English. <laughs> but I get my own balcony and then another balcony. So I think basically this Airbnb is it's like an apartment, but I'm the only one in it. So got the keys. Balcony kitchen. Maybe I'll do I'll do a quick little tour. AC. On lights in here. Yes, you do. Honestly, no guys take me out on dates. This is the thing. The best kind of relationship is a friendship. Yeah, <laughs> just just get a girl. Look at this though. This is all vegan. So I got um, what was that lemon, lemon ginger, lemon ginger? Try it. I'm gonna try my frappe, spice coffee. Wow. I guess you're not supposed to drink it from the top, but that's really yummy. <laughs> Try it from there where it's like ice cream. That is very good. Nice, the lemon and ginger. Oh, that's much better from the bottom. Yeah. Look at that. Cheers. Would you like a cherry? There you go. I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I got in Egypt. I'm gonna do a little Egypt haul. Um, you've probably seen some of this stuff throughout the videos anyways, but I'm just gonna do it all collectively together and show you. So I got um, this pure Egyptian cotton top. I got these. And I love these types of pants. They're very flowy. They're open on the sides. Then I got, these are similar, but you tie them from the back and the front. And they're really comfortable. I've worn these a lot and they're not, they're, they're gonna fall apart soon probably. I know these ones I got way overcharged for. The guy was like, I'm, gonna, I'm cutting you a deal. No, you did not cut me a deal, sir. And I never went back to him, but I can, um, it was at the beginning and I wasn't really good at bargaining. It, these ones were around, I don't remember in Egyptian pounds, but I think they were like $15. But that's, I oh, way overpaid for this. Uh, when I was leaving, the host of our Airbnb gave me this pyramid before I left from his brother's shop, who has like a shop of, it's um, handcrafted pure marble. And it feels nice, I like to go like this. <laughs> that's kind of heavy though, so. Not the most practical thing to carry around. Uh, the next thing, the day that I went out with Layla, I'm gonna open it up right now. I haven't opened it up yet and looked at it, but it's pure and government certified. So it's like some people try to sell knockoffs there. So it's just the pure stuff and it has our names and hieroglyphics on it. Oh, okay, I'm good at that. Da, da, da. This is pure, genuine papyrus, papyrus, whatever. And then that's that's me, Victoria, and that's Layla leading me into the afterlife. As you saw maybe in that video, and you can you can go back and watch it. 
we were shown a lot of different types of scents and stuff. I always choose a vanilla type of scent. I smell very strongly vanilla at all times. But these are cool because you can, let me show you how it works. You can use this for base blending. You put it in your laundry, you can put it on your body, you can mix it in with other things. It's like a, a scent oil. So you go like this and go like this and you'll smell very good throughout the whole day. Uh, the next thing that I got, I went to this, and I might have a little clip right here, kind of what the shop looked like. I went to this shop looking for, um, I got two things from this shop. I was looking for lotion, but I didn't actually get lotion. I got um, a face um, oil thing. Yeah, so this was 200. I want to say 200 to 250 Egyptian pounds. This is camel's milk mixed with some herbs and stuff to keep it good. Um, this is a big thing in Egypt and also Cleopatra I think used camel's milk. So I've been using this every day as my new face serum because I, I ran out and I didn't really bring a lot with me so I wanted to find something kind of natural and especially to Egypt so this is why I got this face serum. And I got this from the same shop, I got this ring. This is from a different part of the shop. I thought it was really cute. It's not like high quality or anything, I thought it was just a cute design. And it was 50 Egyptian pounds. Talking about, um, I got this. I highly rec recommend getting one of these babies, these bad boys. This is a stone. It's uh, a loom stone. And it's scented in this nice musk, Egyptian musk scent. And this thing is very, um, very interesting to me because it's a stone, but it smells, and the smell does not go away. Like this is just as strong as whenever I first got it. And you put some water on it and you shrub it on yourself after the shower. This, you can put this thing anywhere and it'll smell up the whole room and it smells really good. Um, but it's very strong, very powerful and natural. Oh, and I didn't, uh, the eyes, uh, I was, I was taking some Instagram pictures, which is why I have contacts in. So. And then these are what pants look like. And they're really cool, you know? Tie it up the front. Yes. Oh. Excuse me, Walt. Well, I'm trying to do a try on here. So that is everything I got in Egypt. That is me leaving Egypt. And I don't know when or if I'll be back, but it was a really, really good experience. I learned a lot and it feels like it's been way longer than it even has. Um, but we're in Greece now. I'm kind of chilling out here and trying to plan out the rest of my life. Well, not the rest of my life. That's too ambitious. So getting some breakfast at a late start. This is a Frito cappuccino. I got some Greek goat yogurt. Yeah. Never again. I'll show I'll show you what it looks like. This is my room in the Airbnb. Um, yeah, out there. And then we have this small little kitchen in here, which has you know the essentials except for a microwave. I forgot I didn't have a microwave, so I got like um I don't have an oven or microwave or oil and I got uh, falafels and I had to boil them. <laughs> this is how I travel by the way. This is disgusting goat yogurt that I got. I'm just like, do 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 I'm gonna get some healthy yogurt because I do believe that goat and sheep milk yogurt is easier for us to digest. But this was not easy to digest because I couldn't even get into my stomach. <laughs> I always get yogurt wherever I go just to try out. Like usually Greek yogurt. I am I love Greek yogurt because it has high protein content, good probiotics, and I think it's pretty good for you in terms of like fermented milk products. I think that's but that was not good for me. Not at all, not at all though. Open sesame seeds. This is the balcony. It's nice and big. And then all my neighbors can see me spinning my stick out here. I have a weak fucking dollar. So I'm spending a lot, but the next place I'm going to go is gonna be even more expensive because Greece is more of a cheaper place. So for like this coffee, this was like, um, one euro 90 or something like that, which isn't bad. Normal. But the cost of the accommodation here uh, for an Airbnb room, you can get it for around 20 to 25, how much was this one? 20 to 30 euro per night, and then cheaper if you get it based on weeks. And then there's also Uber, 
which another tip is that here, Uber is the, still the same on the Uber app, but they're in taxis, so all Ubers are taxis. This is like an oat bar. Hello again, it's later in the day, and I ordered some food, and I wanted to show you kind of some Greek food. Well, I don't know if all this is Greek food, but I do at least know that this and this is Greek. I know this is Greek because it's a Greek salad and my best friend Denai would make this for me. So hopefully it compares or is as good as hers. This is actually like pricing wise, not that this was around three euro or something, I think. No, two, I mean two euro or something. Which isn't bad, this whole thing. Just a um, falafel apparently. What is this? Yes. Like I said, I would, I was really hungry. <laughs> Oh, I've got eggs on uh, fries. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm excited about it. Is this a weird, is this Greek? Let me know in the comments. I don't know that it is or not, but they're very soggy fries from having eggs on top of them. So in Greek salad, there's tomatoes, um, cucumbers, and olives. Mm. Oh, all the time seasoning them. <clears throat> Falafel wrap for all the food. Thumbs up. Just here in Greece, in history right here. You jealous? You jealous? <laughs> so preparing for our shoot, we're getting naked out in the ruins out here. You missed the boob shot. You missed the boob shot. <laughs> Modeling is hard. I know, you think like, whoa, so elegant, so pretty. It's really not, oh. it's sweat tears and sucking in your gut. So a big part of my job is doing a lot of pictures and a lot of it I do myself. Um, I have my camera and I just do it on self timer through my phone. So it's always kind of difficult to take, but we're gonna try and get some in front of this temple, which is interesting. It's very, very hot to give perspective. It's like almost a hundred degrees and sweaty and there's other people all around, but this is the model life. It's not glamorous. It's quite actually cringy but it's fun and I like it. So like oh, yeah. see but my my camera talking to you all we take pictures like that on your phone. Look a lot pottery. Yeah, he's sexy. <laughs> Hi, so I was thinking, can I have your number? Oh, your, your hand in marriage. I'm Thank sorry, you. I'm waiting for Zeus. Oh, finally got a finger. I knew it. No, I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I got a vegan gyros. Gyros. It's very hot today. It's gonna get very, very hot tomorrow. This is the hottest week um, for a long time in Greece, in Athens, and I'm here for it. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. You want some? 
That's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for coming. Stay extraterrestrial. I love you very much. And stay tuned for the next video.